So I'm PK. I'm a faculty at uh, IIIT Delhi in the Department of Computer Science, and uh, I graduated from uh, CMU in uh, 2009 uh, in the Computation Organizations and Society in the School of Computer Science. And uh, just after finishing uh, my PhD in 2009, I moved back uh, uh, to India to become a faculty in uh, IIIT Delhi. My area of uh, interest is uh, the PhD that I did was in cybersecurity, uh, and uh, currently my area of interest is in uh, privacy and security in online social media, uh, social computing. Uh, recently, I've also started uh, a lot of interest on computing for medicine uh, in the last uh, six, seven months. That those are my areas of interest right now. Uh, so I uh, I was born in Chennai, a southern part of uh, India. Uh, people would know it as Madras, and uh, uh, I, I did my undergrad from Madras University. Finished my undergrad, and I actually worked for about uh, five six years in uh, in industry in uh, Chennai. And uh, during during that time, only I got actually more interested in digging uh, into computer science more. And uh, uh, around that time, I, I ended up getting a master's from Bits Pilani in software systems. And my undergrad degree is in electronics and communication. My master's degree from Bits Pilani is in software systems. The way I see actually about uh, societal computing, other CS disciplines, is that uh, taking a problem. So I think currently, uh, or for, for, for a while, computer science. Uh, people have, have started to understand that the problems in society cannot be solved at a larger level only by computer science uh, disciplines, only by computer science, core computer science areas, right? And all the solutions that we are uh, building, techniques that we're building has to be tested with users, uh, tested in the real world, all of that. So that piece is, is one of the major piece that I see in terms of uh, uh, societal computing. It is about taking a problem in the society and trying to attack it with the computer science, uh, so to say, background skills that we have and actually producing something which is very relevant, uh, where people are interested in paying for it, people are interested in using it, uh, and then that sort of a thing, right? So that's one of the key components that I see societal computing is uh, different from, uh, uh, so to say, other CS disciplines. The, one of the other ways that I tell my students at least here is that, look, you want to work on something uh, where uh, you have this feeling that at, at some given point in time, somewhere somebody uh, is, is actually using the thing that we're actually building as part of our research solutions. I think my experience at uh, CMU, as I've used, I continue using the word, uh, Life-changing is one for sure uh, because I, I yeah, I, I, I remember the way I went into a PhD program and the way I see myself uh, finishing and now uh, is very, very different. I think this uh, one skill that I that I quote right now, uh, may, of the many skills that I quote is actually independent thinking, independent researcher. I think that's one skill I believe that uh, uh, ISR, CMU, the, the entire ecosystem of generating PhDs uh, at CMU actually gives us uh, as, as PhD students. I think I, uh, yeah, so life changing is probably one uh, big umbrella which I will actually put uh, for my experience at uh, CMU. If, if, if you're sitting there and uh, thinking about, oh, should I go to uh, CMU? Should I take up this uh, uh, societal uh, computing for PhD program, all of that? I think if you just see around, right? Just spend, probably give yourself uh, next two, uh, three days. Just look around and see the enumerate, list down the problems that you're actually uh, seeing every day in and day out. The, the problems that uh, you think uh, is solvable, let's say, right? That you think is, you want to attend. You think that it's closer to your heart. I think PhD, you really want to pick up something that's close to your heart. 